hi what's going on guys today I'm gonna show you how to get rid of this blue screen on your Mac all right so this happens when you uh, you probably had Windows installed on the computer then one day you decided to delete the partition okay there is a procedure to do it through a uh, um, boot camp and um, this happens when you just delete the Windows file and now they are some remnants of files in the boot and on the EFI boot uh, uh, drive okay so I'm gonna show you how to get rid of it it's very easy okay it's technical but it's e easy alright so let's do it let's uh, so first of all you need to copy I'm gonna put this um, code underneath this video just make sure you copy it um, to the computer where you wanna uh, have this procedure done okay okay it's gonna make it easy for you guys um, please don't try typing this because if you do that you're gonna you're gonna have some errors then you're gonna come to the comment section and uh, say some bad things that you know I would not like just copy you just select and you do command C you copy it, then that's how you use them don't try to type them out because you uh, you're gonna make some errors okay you see here they are spaces okay that you don't want to miss all right so guys um, so first of all you want to go to spotlight and on spotlight you want to type terminal okay all right so this is terminal mine happen to be uh, just white you see some people set up so it can be black blue you know etc etc so this is terminal okay so the first thing you want to do is copy this um, disk util list and paste it here so it's gonna give us the list of the drives that we have in this machine okay as you can see we have the big one uh, the one I have here is uh, uh, 320 gigabytes okay so this is it this is the EFI remember this is it's not only used by computer uh, uh, it's not only used uh, by Windows this is also used by your Mac okay so this is where the file that is coming up with the blue screen resides okay so now what you want to do is make sure you see where it says uh, 209 megabytes then you see disk 0 s1 okay and, uh, and over here on this line right here you see we have the same name over here okay so if you had EFI on disk 2 then you come up here and you change this you change this name right here and you put disk 2 but we have it on disk 1 so we put disk 1 right so this is the only change that you can do here so I have mine on disk 1 so let's uh, let's start okay so on terminal you wanna copy the first line this is it right here just copy and paste okay now it's asking for password you wanna type in the computer's password alright just type it in Okay, once you type it out, there's no errors, so we can move to the next line. Copy, paste, wait for it. Again, no error. All right, so now you want to go to the, the next one. 
copy paste again no error now you want to get the the third one I mean the the last one copy so basically it's gonna go inside this uh, um, this disk this folder or this partition then it's gonna erase whatever belongs to Windows or uh, to Microsoft inside okay so that's why I was telling you it, it's not only Microsoft that uses this uh, this boot the, the Microsoft partition that causes the blue screen the EFI uh, boot the EFI disk because it's a disk okay so we are not looking to erase the, the boot the disk itself we are looking to erase the Microsoft partition that is inside of the disk okay so that's what we're gonna do here we're telling uh, terminal to delete the Windows thing the Windows partition okay so now it's done guys you are done guys that's it now all you want to do is just close terminal and restart your computer okay restart your computer and try the keyword the key uh, keyboard combination again because usually when you try to do a uh, control alt delete I mean I'm sorry when you try to do because usually when you try to do a uh, command option PR the computer boots directly through to the boot screen I mean to the blue screen okay so so guys that's it you close terminal and you restart the computer so guys that's all now when you start the computer by uh, you know using the keyboard combination option command PR sometimes to uh, to flush the RAM you will not encounter this problem anymore the blue screen is gone guys this is how you fix it okay so let me know what you think in the comment box below if you have issues please let me know but like I told you do not try to type it out just copy and paste then you will not have errors okay guys alright this is Adam don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have any question don't forget to ask me down below take care bye bye